not because of their own power. So God is going to bless you. Anything you're doing, any business you're doing, it doesn't matter how much you're using to do it. Even if it's 100 euros, even if 500 euros, God blessing is going to transfer to you just in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So our sermon today is thinking about being diligent. And in Jesus' name, let God make me a diligent. Diligent. Say, so after today, I will be diligent. Because you see the blessings of people that are diligent. Diligent means skillful, hard working. People that have favor from God. Open the book of Proverbs, page 229. Yes. Amen. 29. Says thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. Shall not stand before men. Praise the Lord. This is talking about the person that is diligent in his business. And if you go to convert it, the meaning of diligent means skillfully. Person that has hand work, that is let, let have something learned, has a profession, or something they are very good at. He said, See thou a diligent man in his business, he shall stand before him, and he shall not stand before me men. Father, as they are going to hear this sermon today. After today, they will stand before him. They will never stand before me, men. But I tell you, if they are not diligent, after today, I make them to be diligent. Amen. Worship him through the spirit. Amen. Let them meet you at the cloud. Let them be raptured. But I want all of them to be raptured. I realize in the name of Jesus. Let them be doing what they only hear. In the name of Jesus. But after today, the people you get today that are diligent, they are going to take it from today. And they will stand before him. In the name of Jesus. He said that seeing a diligent man in his business, diligent means skillfully, profession, learned in his business. When you would be, what anything you specialize in, you do it very, very well. Do you want the Bible to say that you have to be better? He said, He shall stand before kings. Some people say, He shall stand kings. You will work with rich men, you will work with prominent men, we work, you, you will work with men of personality. And Bible said again, and not shall not stand before me men. Low wage of me men. Me men means ordinary people. Unknown people. Low, low, low people. Ordinary people. You shall not, you shall not work for some low class people that, that use, that are, that is that, 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 that nothing. Meaning that when you have something skilled, go with you the place. When you work, they will recommend you. You will be recommended. That is meaning. You will be recommended. You will not go and work. They will check your work. You will walk. Even it's not even the chef. Somebody will see you and go and talk to the chef. Or go and talk to the king. I like how this man walks. He walks very, very hard. That's his favor. I will give you an example in the Bible. That's his favor. You will walk very, very hard. I like how he walks. He stands very well. This is a security. He can stand very well. This is a mechanic. If you see how he couples photos, if you have where you do painting, he can paint very well. Then he will recommend you. You will not serve ordinary people. The recommendation will lead you. You will be serving some top people. You will be serving king. You will serve king. You will not serve no people. For example, we go to the Bible. You open your book of Samuel. First Samuel. 16, 31. 16, 21. First Samuel 16, 21. Someone read. So that you understand when one is diligent and God favor you anywhere you walk, they will be recommended. People will go and tell you, you do not know when the news will spread. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. And David came to Saul and stood before him and he loved him greatly and he became his armor bearer. Praise the Lord. They said David came to Saul. This is when Saul was sick. Then. The, 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 the servants were telling for them, the man comes to this, that is very, very good, he's very, very skillful, that is very, he, he's gifted when he comes, we see he can be cured, if you read from the up. Then, when you read David David's case, Saul, Saul did it and loved David so much, and received David, and they fight over before David. And that we say, when Saul loved him, it's because of his skill. The area David was given, he was using it very, very well. Then that we say, Saul loved him. And when Saul loved him, what he done, he fight the word before him. And Saul made him. When Saul loved him, Bible said, David came to Saul and stood before him. And he loved him greatly and become his armor bearer. Armor is the chief of the captain. Armor bearer, chief of the security. Everything around Saul, around Saul, because Saul was the king. 
He made David chief immediately because he was skillfully and he was also blessed. And what the Bible is saying, and God said to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray you, stand before me. He has fighting for my matter. He fight for both Jesse before Saul. Because people recommended him. And the Bible said again, and when Saul was in the spirit of God, that was the night of man. And David just placed a house. And he was healed from that madness. God is going to recommend you to people in the name of Jesus. Because David was recommended. And David, and Saul was a king. He came to Saul. Saul loved him because of his skill. I don't know many of you here that has handwork. You learn something at home. You have something you're doing. Or whether you don't have handwork. God is going to recommend you with that handwork in the name of Jesus. Amen. If that handwork, you are not practicing it. You are not making use of it. God will give you, give you the grace. You will make use of it, and people will see you and recommend you to change in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. In another place we are reading, I will reference it. Let's go to Genesis 47 6. And another place we go to Genesis 39 21. Genesis 47 6 and 39 21. The land of Egypt is before thee. In the first of the land, made thy father and brethren to dwell. In the land of Goshen, let them dwell. And if thou knowest any man of activity among them, then let them ruler over my cattle. Praise the Lord. Then, you have to, 39, 6, 39. 39.21 Praise the Lord. This thing is talking about Joseph. This is what the one he was telling the stories because this is almost part of our someone. Joseph was a man hated by his brother. And when they put him inside Gotha, he was suffering a lot of problems, having a lot of problems. But God blessed him. He had a gift. And he used that gift very well. That's why if you have a skill, we have, you have a gift. Use it. Try to use it very well. And he interpreted Pharaoh's dream. Just as he interpreted Pharaoh's dream. And by the same way, he interpreted Pharaoh's dream. Then what is Pharaoh's dream? Genesis 47. When he interpreted Pharaoh's dream, Bible says the, the king removed his ring, handed everything about him to Joseph. It's because of his skill. He used it very, very well. Bible says the king removed his ring and handed everything over to Joseph. And met Joseph, Father said, Bible says, there is his perfection in 41. If you read that, uh, Genesis 40, 41, Bible says, and Pharaoh said to Joseph, I have said this over all the land of Egypt, just because of what dream. He interpreted dream. He said, for to say, and Pharaoh took off his ring. The king took off his ring and kept put it in the hands of Joseph and dressed him, arrayed him in vessel of linen, put a gold chair in his neck. Just because he used his skill very well. He dressed him like a king. And what they get did the king do to him? And he made him to write on the second chariot. If he's German in command, when they pray, they say, is this model they used to do? This is the Jeep. The second verse, if it's Homer and the four pipes. The second verse, they use him, they put him in chariot and his heart, and they cried before him, bowed the knee, and made him ruler all the land of Egypt. Because of what dream. And whatever was what he with him. God, that's why I said God bless him. God is going to give you such favor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your chef will love you and hand you over everything that he's doing. The king, God will make you, you will enter into the hands of a king. And that king is in that ship. It's in this journey. You will fight for God before anybody that is a king in this city. And he will give people what he gave Joseph. He will carry everything and give you. He will give you second command in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Bible says, Joseph was that years when these things were happening. I know God lost a faithful suffering. If you start from the beginning, Joseph was accused of raping. There is a man it will be when they put the first wife, they need to sleep with him, you will sleep. You read 39. You will see when Potiphar's wife told Joseph to sleep with him. Joseph said, No, I don't want to sleep with him. He fought Joseph several days. Joseph said, No, what he did then, he planned. Then one day he saw Joseph, he rushed Joseph and tear the cloth 
I was shouting, he left me, he left me. Then the thing came. I asked what? He told the thing that David Joseph left him. And he said, oh, David, you said Joseph will do this type of thing. He put Joseph in prison. And see how God was. Then when you read the 39, when he put him in prison, from 39 to 21, that's what it is. And the Lord was with Joseph. When God is with you, nobody is against you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says God was with Joseph and showed him mercy. God will show you mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. And gave you power in the sight of the keeper in the prison. Even in the prison, God was with you. 22 says the keeper in the prison committed to Joseph the hand of everything in the prison. And whatever they did was his the commander. And that was to treat the keeper of the prison looked not to the thing that was under his hand because the Lord was with him and what he did and Lord made him would prosper. He was faithful to God. Try to be faithful to God. If it's in this time, you go to a thing like that, you saw that the king has handed everything to you and the wife. So they sleep with it. Some men will sleep. So that that thing, the thing that if they sleep with that woman, the woman will tell the king to increase more power. They see the truth. They see God still blessed. God, he blessed Joseph. God is going to bless the name of Jesus. Amen. As you can see, how God was blessing him, he saw and met another Pharaoh, another Pharaoh loved him, and also blessed him, and also gave him in command everything. Because we are talking about skill, diligence. The Bible says diligence. He was diligent, he was making good of his gift. He didn't misuse it. Many of you have your own gift. God is going to give you the grace to make good use of it. So that you will be recommended the way Joseph was recommended. And God is going to increase you. Any person that will be the chef, any place you are working, God is going to use that person to make you king in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give you, give you command in the name of Jesus. You can see when the parents came to him, he introduced them to the Pharaoh. And Bible say, and Jacob blessed Pharaoh. And Bible say, can you see the king? The, the hundred, if you read for the savages, for the savages from 11, Bible say, and Joseph blessed his father and his brethren, and gave them a position in the land of Egypt. Just imagine, country that is not your own, a visitor. They handed a visitor back to him. You are the visitor here. God is handing many visitors back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. They went to Egypt. They are not from Egypt. He was in commander. And, 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 and God, God is going to give you the same grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't say that you are a visitor here. You are a foreigner. Remember that we say God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He can still do it again. He can still make you king. People come to Joseph to collect bread. He was, even the Egyptians were begging him. There was famine in the land. But his brothers were eating. But the owner of the city, no food. Even if it's famine, even if it's war, God will be with you in the name of Jesus. The way the Egyptians came to him and be begging, is when God is going to bless you in any company, any position he's going to give you. People that are even not you are that your Lord and them, they will come to you for help in the name of Jesus. Can you see? The Bible says, and Joseph blessed his father and gave them everything out of Egypt. And this one is uh, this for seven verse eleven. And say, and in the best of the land, and the love of Rabbi, two of them, Joseph nourished his father and his brethren, and all his father's home with bread according to the family. Father, God is going to bless them. You are going to be nourished. God will nourish you in the name of Jesus. They will nourish you without others you are suffering. So whether you are in your land, whether you are in your country, whether you are not in your country, God is going to make you the ruler in the name of Jesus. There is nothing God cannot do. If God can do it in the life of Joseph, he can do it everywhere. Joseph was in Egypt. Then God made him to ruler. To become a king. Which means you are you are you are, you are, you are, you are in the position of becoming such a thing. God can put you in a work plan, in a company when you go with faith. God can keep you in a company. You go to that company, the king will command you. And make it second command. You become, you become the people in the company. They will become, even the German can be in the company. You can be black, you mean four arbiters. That's something that's not four arbiters. Then we can make you assistant. Everything God will not bless you. You will laugh. You will laugh. Don't laugh. There's something, if God wants to do something, you will do it. If you can remember, remember Obama, you cannot laugh. When God decides to do, he will do. So God is faithful. The word of God is faithful. He interprets dreams. And God made him king. Anyone that is here, any skill you have, as far as whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are in Nigeria, that that is allowed to work with or in Germany, God is going to use it to promote you in the name of Jesus. He's going to use it to prosper you. Don't fear, don't fear. But God is able. If you go to the Bible, if you come to Christ, come to Christ. That's why you come to Christ. He will give you the right direction. If you can see when they are catching fish, 
Peter comes, toy, 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 all the whole night. Put a couldn't even get to work. Then she wants Jesus to come and say, cast your head here. Jesus is the only person that says, direct you, go this side. We will for you. Go that side. But when she that told them to, Jesus told them, cast your head. They cast their head. The next fish that came out couldn't even contain the net. And they didn't pray. One pity. So that's the same way. That's why they come to me like a heavy line and I will give you rest. They were heavy like and tired and they didn't let Jesus land them. They come to him. He said, cast it here. When you come to him, he will tell you where to cast. Where to go. He will direct you. The universe of the water in your life will be flowing. He directing you. So as when Christ and the church of God I have to say, oh, today I want 17 on Mount Zion, I shall believe right, I shall believe that. The hands of Jacob shall possess their possession. You are in Zion now. You must possess your possession. As we finish this in today, any prayer you pray in this party, God is carrying that prayer right now in his throne. And he's finished, he's coming back with a big reply. Amen. He must reply to you positively. Anything you need, anything you request, whether that thing is possible, whether that is not possible, God is coming down in full force to answer your prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you go to the Bible, that's why I write, I wrote many Sabbath stories. Anything that God of God will need to leave you so that you can prosper. Many people do not see the difference. After the deliverance is left, you, they become what they are. You can be thinking you are free, maybe. You are lying. No, but you cannot know what it is to be suppressed in somebody. You will not know. But see, what will happen is this is how that is oppressing that person. The person will not know what to see. He will not know how many to But through the word of God, through fasting and prayer, through this sermon, God is setting you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those spirits, whether they like it or not, they must leave you. I say they must leave you. Amen. Even if that's the spirit husband, even if it's spirit wife, even if it's marine spirit, even if it's marine water spirit, even if it's native doctor, any spirit of any kind that are presenting you from shrine, from witchcraft, coming on your side, living inside your body, that say that this is his house. I say that this is your thief. The house that her house are not your house. I command this man to leave them and over to the pit of hell. And over to come back in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You spirit that cause frustration. You spirit that causes setback. You spirit that causes problems and well. This person is that causes stress, depression, so a weak thing, taken. Making them not to achieve their dream. They will reach to the point. It will disappoint. They will reach that. This is your work. May God destroy you, spirit, according to those problems in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the blood of Jesus set you free. May the blood of Jesus, you have gone back with this time does not go out, except by fasting and prayer. But as we don't have, we don't know the type of kind they have. You see this time. Many people have different kinds, different kinds. And they are fasted and they are clothing it today. All of them that are here, whether you fast one day, whether you fast two days, whether you fast three days, whether you fast four days, whether you fasted five to seven days, whether you didn't fast at all, but you are here. God is going 